Chum. Ugh. Now to shape this into His Highness's dinner request. <laughs> Almost done. There you go. Eat up. What's this supposed to be? Chum seaweed, chum pot pie, chum cum coral, and chum tea. Also known as dinner. Karen, your memory banks are gummed up again. I did not request chum pot pie. I requested chum stir fry. Well, I told you months ago that my memory is full, but you've been too busy with your latest project. So tell me, Plankton, how do you plan on failing to steal the Krabby Patty formula this time? Computer wife, don't start with me. This plan is foolproof, I tell you. Foolproof! <laughs> Not only will I soon grasp the formula, but I'll be rid of your bad memory as well. Karen, I want you to meet my new computer wife. Karen 2! <gasps> Karen 2? I've been replaced? I'm afraid so. But can you blame me? She's got triple the processing, all the latest software, and a sleek space age design. <laughs> the whole package. I can't believe this. After all I've done for you, you dumped me for this cheap pile of plastic? Well, I had to cut costs somewhere. Who are you calling cheap? At least I don't frost. You know, you're gonna wish you deleted that comment. Hey, come on, babe. Don't take it so hard. You'll find love again. Maybe you'll meet a nice uh, adding machine. Oh, that does it. Oh, why did I program her with a jealousy scheduler? And why did I outfit her with a molecular rearranger ray? Here's your stir fry, little man! Uh, let's not do something we might regret! You should know, regret's the one thing you left out of my operating system. Huh? What happened? I accessed the Chum Bucket power grid, remotely cutting off Karen's power at the source. <laughs> Karen, too? I knew you were special the moment I laid eye on your motherboard. Goodbye, Karen Classic. Hello, Karen, too. <laughs> <laughs> the end of another lucrative work day, SpongeBob. Yes, the end. The killing time is almost too much to bear. Seriously, son, you gotta like it up. Well, good night, kiddo. Good night, sir. See you tomorrow. Yes, sir. Sure as the sea's wet. Catch you later. So long. Bye bye. <laughs> Whew, wouldn't be the first time I've been saved by a pile of trash. This isn't a pile of trash. It's a free computer system. Free? Now what kind of barnacle would throw out a perfectly good computer? Judging from our location, I'd say plankton. Yeah, well, always has been a knucklehead. Could this be one of plankton's elaborate ruses? Perhaps. But who can pass up a free computer? Let's plug her in. See what she can do. She's loading up. Now let's see how this dial-up thingy works here. This thing does text mails, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Oh, that sounds promising. Yeah! Our <laughs> computer's supposed to be moved. To cry, little lady. Don't tell me not to cry. She's <laughs> <laughs> malfunctioning. Must be the dial up thingy. You're right. Must be interfering with her circuitry. <laughs> oh, it's not the dial up thingy. It's Plankton. He dumped me for a newer piece of hardware. No. Help <laughs> me out here, buddy. <laughs> Hey there. Dry those computer tears. I'm sure you two will get back together. Plankton just needs some time to realize how much he needs you. I mean, you guys were made for each other. Well, you were made more for him, and more specifically by him. And now he's built someone with more modern features who's better in every way. That's no... Whoa. What was my point again? Oh, you men are all alike. Wait! We're 
are you going? Smooth, SpongeBob. Real smooth. Let's talk this out. Careful, Mr. Krabs. This could still be a ruse. Karen's loyalty may still be with Plankton. SpongeBob, what part of free computer are you not understanding? <laughs> Tonight we celebrate, and tomorrow the secret formula. <laughs> I don't ever want to see that low life again as long as I live. Goodbye, you miss.